and then we're going to slide out the primary dome with the air system all attached. And now we're ready to remove the diaphragms. So these unscrew off of the thrust tube. Now we're going to remove the second diaphragm, which is attached to the thrust tube. Slide it out, and then we're going to remove the second diaphragm. There's the thrust tube, ready for use later. Now we're ready to remove the divider seal in the middle of the pump. And the groove the divider seal sits in is elongated to ease removal and replacement. So now push forward with our thumb and pull out. Now we're ready to remove the delivery manifold to get at the balls and the, and the seat o-rings. There we have the delivery manifold, the seat o-rings in there. Now there's two discharge balls. And now we're ready to remove the O-rings from the discharge manifold. And we can do this with a screwdriver. Run out. And second one out. We can now put the manifold to one side. So now we're ready to lift off the body to get to the suction balls and O-rings. We have Two bolts at the side, which need to be undone. Now we can lift the body off, exposing the suction balls and O-rings. Place the body to the side. So now we can take the balls out and remove the O-rings. Here we have the pump. Fully dismantled. Now we're ready to replace these old consumable parts with our new parts. Now we're ready to start reassembling the pump. And we're going to start by putting the two seals into the suction manifold. Now we're going to put the two balls in. And then we can replace the body. Making sure it's seated. And then we can replace the two securing screws. Now we can place two delivery balls in. Now we can put the two seals to the delivery manifold. Now we can 
replace the delivery manifold back onto the body. Secure the two bolts. Ready to replace the divider seal to here, first of all. Let's wash the divider seal into an egg shape and bend. So now we're going to take the diaphragms. We're going to remove the clamping. to make sure the seal is clean. And the same around the nose of the thrust tube. And we can replace the first diaphragm. Please note the bearing position on the thrust tube are closer to one end than they are the other. When pushing in, first diaphragm is in. We can clean the seal again. seal on the diaphragm and screw the diaphragm on. When the diaphragms are on, we need to tighten them. Getting this as tight as you can. Really pushing it, really tighten up. So now we've tightened the diaphragms for the first time, we can leave them to the rest and concentrate on replacing the air valve unit. First of all, I'm going to undo four socket heads, holding the air valve on. Remove this. Now we can replace this unit with a new one and new silencers. Screw the silencers in. We now need to check that there is no product blocking these holes on the cover plate 
and also the signal holes on the air system at the front. And the two in the shaft there, and that one there, and that one there. Signal holes are clear of product, and the same the air holes at the end. If everything is clear, we can carry on. So we can replace cover plate. Now the pump is ready for final assembly. So after five minutes, we can give the diaphragms one more tighten, make sure they're nice and tight. And ensuring the end that the bearings are closest to is the end we put the system in. And then we place secondary dome. The dome washer, the rod washer, and the main nut. So nice and tight. We can then do the nut back up to the required torque. And then we have a complete service on a Flowtronic one nut pump.